All right, so looking at the calendar, um, our test is next block day. Next block day, uh, virtual students, I updated the WAG to, to the newer calendar. So the calendar is accurate now. Apologies for that. Uh, but now it should be it should be right. Our test is next um, block day for you guys. Let's go over some of the homework, although hopefully it was um, simple enough. Easy for me to say. Oops, not that. We want this. So are there, let's look at worksheet one and see if there are questions. So are there questions from Tori? 16. Limit as x goes to infinity. I'm just going to rewrite it up here so I can look at the graph. Limit as x goes to infinity of the function. So as x gets really, 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 really big, our function looks like it's camped out at negative 1. Oh, it sure is. This was 15. 16 is negative infinity. So that's a little bit harder. That's on the other end. So as x goes further and further out to the left toward negative infinity, the function is headed down, 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 down toward negative infinity which means it doesn't exist. <laughs> Does not exist. Anything else from the first page? Uh, again, the, the first three lines kind of go together because it's all about 2 and then negative 1 and positive 1. So handling the open circles and closed circles and jumps and all that. That picture looks a little crazy. Anything from 17 through 30? And again, they're, they're kind of grouped. Like what's going on at 0, what's going on at positive 1, what's going on at 2. And then what's going on at negative one? Left, right, overall, and then the function. All good? Again, I, I told you yesterday, it's a weird concept, but once you get it, answering the questions usually goes pretty quick. At least on worksheet one they do anyway. Don't get too excited. I'll change today. 31 to 36, we didn't do any exactly like this, but it, it's just adding or subtracting or multiplying the various limits. Do I need to do any of those? Tori. 33. Limit of g of x over h of x as x approaches negative 2 from the right. So one thing at a time here. The other 33, because of course there's two 33s with a 32 in between the two 33s. So, you know, math teachers counting and whatnot. So, the other 33. X approaches 2 of h of x plus g of x. So, as x approaches 2 of h of x, um, what's this limit? As x approaches 2 of h of x. That's D and E. Well, I can kind of stop the problem right there because D and E plus anything is not going to exist. So I guess I can look and see what G of X is. Uh, oh, G of the limit as X approaches 2 of G is also D and E. But it doesn't really matter. If one of them is D and E, then the whole limit is D and E. It's not like 2 D and E. It just doesn't exist.
Anything else?